Okay, I wanted to show real quickly how I made the wishing well. The lid got a little squished in the car when I packed it because it got some weight stuff in it. But anyway, the lid is just covered with wood contact paper. These are bench slats that I had for my daughter's wedding when I replaced the bench slats. And I just put some wood grain naga hide over it. This gal is from a broom handle. And I just we just drilled in the end and then put a half inch dowel inside of it so we could crank it. Drilled a hole through the center so we could wrap the rope around it. Tied it onto the bucket. I'm videoing. And then um, this is actually a jumbo tanker toy um, handle or piece. And we just I just screwed a knob on it. And then this is a handle from a dresser. And I just use a plastic clamp and then just a washer with a screw to hold it on so that it doesn't fall when like that it falls. So I did that and that keeps it up so it looks cuter. And then I drilled holes in the lid right here and one right at the top and then one down at the bottom so that you can see on the inside I just wired it in with wire on those three spots. And then I just um, wrapped some ivy and tucked it in. And I, I didn't even glue it or anything. I just tacked it in through the wires. Painted the garbage can with browns and grays to make it look like a rock garden. And then um, I got these little dragonfly lights at the dollar store that light up. So it looks like the dragonflies are near the water. And it's our our mailbox for our camp. So we just put the little sign because our theme is Snow White. So we put that there for that. But anyway, so to transport it, I just unscrewed the wires and pulled it out and stuffed it full of camp stuff. And anyway, that's how it worked. So, and then for the rest of our decorations, well, I'll do a bit, another video.